Adam D. And today I thought I'd talk about the star studded event, the Super Bowl for the WWE, and that is WrestleMania 30. That is coming this Sunday, 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 April 6th, 2014. Now I'm a little more excited than I was before due to the fact that some cool stuff has been announced that has sort of added to WrestleMania that works. We had the freaking main event match, Batista versus Randy Orton, and we had Taker's match with Brock Lesnar. And maybe some other things that might have been announced that I kind of may have forgotten at the time. But just that kind of stuff in general didn't really add a great flavor and taste to WrestleMania. But of course, new stuff has been announced. And I thought, hey, let's talk about it and give some predictions. First up is Vicky Guerrero's Divas Championship Invitational. Holy crap, I said that correctly. I find it's a really long title for something that's basically a giant championship scramble match. Basically what will happen is AJ, the current champion, will face 15 other divas, mostly comprising of the cast of Total Divas, as well as her bodyguard Tamina. So I find this very cool and very interesting how that will go. My predictions for it, of course, um, I'd say I'd, I'd be rooting for the Bellas, um, but I feel like she might just retain. I find AJ will probably retain um, if... If it is coming to something, it will probably be one of the Bellas. If not, maybe Natalia. I find it's a little bit of a giant scramble to predict that match because it could go many different ways. But, you know, AJ has found a way to kind of win in many situations she's been in. So I find that she probably will retain. She'll find some way to get around, and uh, that's what I'll predict with. AJ will retain and win the match. Next, the WWE Tag Team Championship Fatal 4-Way Match featuring the Usos, the current champions, Versus Rybaxel, The Last Man of the Race, and The Real Americans. I find this to be kind of cool. I know tag team division has been really accelerated a lot with these Fatal 4-Way matches in the past or on the SmackDown. I'm not sure. I think Raw has hosted some too. And they're kind of cool to watch. So I don't really know what the hectic chaos will create. Though I think the Usos will retain this time. I know the Real Americans are kind of a close second for me. I don't think Las Matadores or Rybaxel could really do much with them right now. I just don't feel like they're going to utilize and give them the belts. I think the Usos will probably continue. I think their exciting charisma and the way they've been will just continue on with the championships. Maybe the Real Americans will rival with them for a bit and kind of get that around and accelerated, but... I think it's too early for the Usos to kind of drop them right now. So I think the Usos will retain Sunday. Continuing on with tag team action is the Shield versus Kane and the old age, <coughs> I mean new age outlaws. I think the Shield will win this match. I don't find Kane and the new age outlaws winning really adding anything. Uh, their rivalry to me is sort of bland, sort of bleh. <laughs> I think the Shield could go after the Wyatts again. I think that is a a more targeted, better group to go after than dealing with Kane and New Age Outlaws. You know, I think they're just going to be annihilated by the Shield. If not, the Shield will come close to annihilating them if, if worst comes to worst. But I think the Shield's going to win. I think they're going to take the at WrestleMania this Sunday. Next is the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal match. We got this match announced by Hulk Hogan, who uh, decided to, I guess, come up with the idea and was excited to announce it and whatnot, as he usually does get excited for things, and it actually does seem like a pretty cool idea. I think Big Show will win that match. I know it may seem unlikely because, you know, Big Show doesn't really have the best track record at WrestleMania, but I think, it, I think it'll work. I know they gave him his own WrestleMania moment, I believe last year or the year before, uh, against Cody Rhodes. I know they did that, and that was kind of cool, you know, compared to his other WrestleMania not-so-good moments. But I feel like he's just a big, strong contender in this. There's some other big names, I think, that could win it, too. Alberto Del Rio, Kofi Kingston. I'll be very interested to see what Kofi does to avoid himself from being eliminated. I mean, Royal Rumble, holy crap. That, that topped his other attempts of not being eliminated before, and it was big. It was kind of cool-looking and unique to Kofi Kingston, of course. So, I'll be very interested to see how this goes. But I think Big Show will win it. Next to the card is good old hustle, loyalty, and respect versus follow the buzzards. Yeah! Ow! John Cena versus Bray Wyatt. I find this to be actually a pretty cool match to go with. Uh, John Cena, they say, oh, he can't wrestle, blah, blah, blah. But I think he can wrestle pretty dang well. He faced Dana Bryan in that SummerSlam match, and that was amazing. 
He wrestled with Brian and kept up with him very well. It worked. It was awesome. And his arm was, well, fucked up. So it was very cool to see that go with that arm being like it was. So I think this match, just like Brian and Wyatt's match, being the only real good match at the Royal Rumble, I think this match will be awesome. I think it will be amazing to see how it goes. I do think, of course, the Wyatt family is going to make their appearance and interfere. What is personation is this? <laughs> I think they're going to make their appearance and sort of interfere in some way. And, uh, you know, fuck John Cena over. Or maybe John Cena might think of something, too. I think Bray Wyatt will actually win this match. Next on the list is the match that I usually look forward to at WrestleMania, and that is Taker's match. This year, he'll be facing Brock Lesnar, the beast incarnate himself, to take on Taker for the streak, which is 22-0 so far. So the beast versus the streak. I find this match will be very awesome, not just because it's Brock Lesnar, and it's not because it's just Taker, because both of them might have a similar style to fighting. Taker is an MMA fan and the best striker in the WWE. You can see it by his gloves that he wears. He always has those, and he does well with the striking. And Brock Lesnar is a former UFC heavyweight champion. So, both of them know MMA pretty dang well. So, I find that this might be a pretty good alternative for this match. I think they're both going to go for strikes. I think they're both going to try and fight pretty well and go for that kind of way. But I think, of course, Taker is going to cause Brock Lesnar to rest in peace. I think he's going to retain and keep the streak. Next on the list is a match that kind of caused CM Punk to kind of leave the WWE. Probably other things too, but this is one of the things that he apparently mentioned about, and that is his WrestleMania match against Triple H, which is now Daniel Bryan versus Triple H. I think that's a better couple to do. I don't know why you'd put CM Punk in that kind of match or have the idea to, because it just doesn't make sense. I think that this kind of match was perfect. I think it'll work. It's beautiful. It's a good idea. It ends their sort of feud. But I do find there might be some cool trickery or cheating going on with Triple H. I think he might, you know, lose by DQ. So I think Brian might still win the match by DQ or something, causing him to maybe be so injured he can't face in that match of some sort. Maybe Triple H will do something to that, you know, and find a way to get him in that match still you know, himself in there. I don't know really for sure. I feel like something's going to try and, you know, happen to, to fuck over Brian again. And Brian's just going to be miraculously just popping in and and be like, yeah, you know, I'll kick an ass. Because I think Brian will definitely be a good addition to the next match, which is the Batista versus Randy Orton match for the, I'm going to go with Unified Championship. I know they swept that under the ring, but I'm going to say it just for the shits and giggles. The Unified Championship itself. So we're going for the Unified Championship, the WWE and Heavyweight Championship combined together. Uh, it'll be very interesting to see how that would go. But also, the wild card, as the last match I mentioned, the stipulation that the winner of that match will hop into this one. That is, of course, versing Batista and Randy Orton for the Unified Championship. So yes, I think it'll be Brian's moment to win the WWE World Heavyweight Unified Championship of the World at WrestleMania 30. Agree or disagree, hit me down in the comments down below. We can get a nerdgasm of awesome wrestling fun down below there. As well as thumbs up the video if you liked it a lot. You can also hit it to your favorites or share it to friends if you think that they might be like, mm, yeah, he's, he's good with his predictions. Oh no, he's crap. You know, just share it to your friends and see what they think. Maybe their predictions are the same as mine. If not, that's okay. Subscribe if you haven't. Thumbs up as well. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace out, brother!